Okay, so let's start creating our concrete shader. Uh, so I'll find a concrete texture. Concrete, 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 concrete. It doesn't have to be uh, the real concrete. It just needs to have some kind of roughness. I think this would work. This is not bad. So we need to add, uh, let's see, principal shader. Use it for the principal shader. So that's the color. We need uh, the roughness, so I'll add a color ramp. Connect this to the roughness. It's too shiny, let me first preview that map. Make it a bit rough. Maybe reduce, scale down uh, this texture using texture coordinates. Now oh, we can use object mapping and uh, change this to box. Scale this. Down. And now when you start seeing sims, you can use the blending mode here at reduce on those sims. So this is going to be our roughness. If we preview now, I think we may need to invert, maybe not, just reduce on the roughness of this we also need this for the bump so for vector bump height connect like that uh, this is too much so i'll change this to maybe point point one and uh, this is our concrete. It's still too shiny. So maybe. Can make that a bit rough. And now we have two shaders. We have two shaders. We have these for the wood. And we have this for the concrete. I don't know why it's, it became dark again. So let's play around with these colors and see. Let me make this more brownish, more yellowish. And also, So we have those two shaders and uh, we have our mask here. So what we can do is use a mix shader. So mix shader, connect the first one and then connect uh, the second one. Now, if we preview this, they're simply being rendered 50 by 50 using this factor. If we have it at one, uh, the wood shader will be will be rendered if we have it at zero uh, the concrete shader will come through uh, so instead of using this factor we'll just use the mask we created to use as the factor uh, but uh, i think we, we have this inverted so we need to flip this And I uh, need to come back in, play around with the concrete. So maybe it needs to be sharp. This concrete might need to be sharp. So what was creeping that? If we preview this. Yeah, 
so we have that uh, we can turn on scene lighting and uh, also turn on change this to a sun so that we have better lighting try rotating this So if we want, we just duplicate this. And now we have our wall. So we can have as many walls as we want. Or what we can do is uh, just duplicate this in edit mode until we have uh, a height that is the same height as our wall just need to merge these vertices like we did before remove doubles remove doubles also remove that middle face select this loop here bevel it And uh, let's go back to our shading and we have something like that. But you see that uh, our texture is, is, has started to repeat itself. So what we need to do is UV unwrap this again. So uh, we need to remove these seams where they shouldn't be. Unwrap. Again, we need to rotate our UVs again, 90 degrees. The more you scale it up, the more details you will have in the wood. And see what we have. So let's make this part here in the next part.